And so this is why we started here. It's really for us a fantastic venue and where we are going to be staying or where we are going to be going for 2020. Where do you guys think we're going to be going for 2020? All right, sorry. You are not leaving right now. We have one more presentation. This is, um, this is some inter interesting data. So right now on Slido, you're going to have your survey data for day two. And uh, this is actually some of the data that we got from day one. And for us, we see running remote as a startup just like anything else. <clears throat> In 2018, we had a 4.1 out of five star for our day one event. And for 2019, we had a 4.3 stars out of five stars, which is great. So improvement is always, is always good. Uh, we also had people asking about how they liked Sofitel. This was fantastic. So 85% of people loved Sofitel. 15% uh, said, I don't care, I'm just here for the content. So cool, we'll get you a cheaper one next year. <laughs> um, and then we even got some, some critical feedback. Need another break during the morning. Room temp was a bit hot at times. I don't know if you've noticed, but we lowered the temperature by one degree. Uh, so whoever put that comment down, we, we heard you. And uh, thanks for arranging this, such a dream. We also had someone that commented that they ran out of coffee and water. So. I don't know if you can see in the back, but we got tons of coffee and water. Uh, I was on that too. Okay, so 2018 and 2019 uh, was in Ubud and now Nusa Dua. But where are we going to do 2020? Uh, this is the question that a lot of people have been asking me. I've been kind of like shy about telling you where we're going to do it, but I can give you a little bit of data based off of how we came to this conclusion. So, number one, uh, this is actually from Nomad List, and this is uh, this is Bali. So you can see Chenggu is a 5.0, Ubud is a 4.0, Danpansar is a 3.3, 3.5, Kud is a 3.3, 3.4. This is like the core. This is the nucleus of remote work, the remote work movement. And so this is why we started here. It's really, for us, a fantastic venue. And we've realized uh, that if we hadn't have started it here, I don't think we would have had the same type of interaction because there's so many committed people here in Bali. However, 34% of our traffic comes from the United States. Uh, we had about 10% come from Indonesia, 6% from Australia, 4.8% from India, and 4.16% from the Philippines, which is, which is quite interesting. So we came up with some, some ideas. We've actually been surveying you guys. If you've gotten the surveys, thank you for filling them out. Also, Slido day two, please fill that out. That really gives us a lot of feedback so we know what to do next. So first city that we thought about was Medellin or Medellin. In Colombia, um, one of another, another nucleus for remote work, something that um, a city that I really love. We actually have one of our salespeople, once he went there, he just didn't leave. So he literally showed up for like a week's trip and he's like, oh, I'm staying here. And he's been there for, I think, six months, which is crazy. We've also got Estonia. So uh, anyone from, yes, Estonia. So. Estonia is another nucleus for remote work. And I mean, we've seen a couple talks on Estonia in general. Um, they really are providing some of the infrastructure that we need to be able to continue on with the remote work movement. Fantastic, fantastic country and uh, definitely something that we had on our list as well. Also, this is Montreal, Canada. This is, uh, this is my hometown. This actually was not, this, you guys didn't want to go here, but I just thought I'd throw this slide up anyways. <laughs> I was like, oh man, it'd be so easy to just walk down the street and you know, have the event, but no, you guys don't want that. So where we are going to be staying, or where we are going to be going for 2020, where do you guys think we're going to be going for 2020? Lisbon, Lisbon. Oslo. Oslo. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Other uh, more ideas? Changu, maybe. Okay. So 
We are going to be going to the city that is the third or the third largest tech hub in the United States. Uh, it has one of the best foods on planet Earth, which is queso, and uh, the second best food on planet Earth, which is breakfast tacos. We're going to be going to Austin, Texas. So reason why we chose Austin, I don't know if you've noticed, but this is the largest, one of the largest receiving halls in all of Bali, and uh, we actually sold it out completely. So we need to be able to find another venue, and we need to be able to get access to other groups in Austin for us, especially from you guys and the survey information that we've been getting. You definitely want uh, a U.S. location, so next year we're going to be having a U.S. location. And we've got a couple other people. So uh, Dan Martell is actually already booked to speak for next year. Does anyone know who Dan Martell is? Show of hands. We got a couple people. Great. So he's like the SaaS whisperer. Uh, so I know a lot of you guys run SaaS businesses, and he actually has a fantastic talk specifically on how to build a remote SaaS business. So he has exited a few SaaS businesses himself. He now coaches SaaS businesses, and um, he's going to be a fantastic speaker. I'm really excited about the type of information he's going to be giving us. Also, we have Matt Kepnes. Uh, does anyone know Matt Kepnes, a.k.a. Nomadic Matt? Yeah. So he's really the most definitive digital nomad. He's been a digital nomad for 10 years and nomad in general. And he actually, just like everyone else, has a remote team. So even the ultimate digital nomad himself has a remote team. So he's going to be giving a talk on how the ultimate digital nomad manages his remote team. And it's going to be, the link is runningremote.com slash 2020. It's $3.99 alumni pricing, and that's valid for the next 72 hours. Now, let me tell you, the actual price of a ticket here when we worked everything out was $424, I believe. So this is absolutely the lowest price that we can give everyone here. For us, we consider alumni pricing. You guys are already drinking the Kool-Aid, and we want you to come back. So we're literally giving you the absolute lowest price that we possibly can. Uh, and we're also going to be putting out our entire P&L over the next couple weeks, so you'll be able to see that in your inbox. We'll show you everything that we did from beginning to end so you know exactly where that money is going and, and how it's going to be used to be able to continue to empower remote work. Also, uh, so I got a little bit of an update with Fahim. He's actually already got like four contracts uh, right now, which is great. <laughs> But we'd, we'd like him to get some more. Uh, I would ideally, I think in this room, we could literally have him never be in any type of economic trouble ever again. So it's youtube.com slash running remote. If you go to our Instagram, it's just at running remote. We actually have the video there as well. I'd really appreciate it if you could, could help him out. So. It's runningremote.com slash 2020. We're also going to send you some push notifications on that so that you can get access to the alumni pricing. I want to thank everybody that's been involved in this. Um, I mean, Igor, we have Tammy, we have Anna, AVB in the back. Uh, where is, is Tammy? Is she? Why don't you come up here and just give yourself a bow? Because like, she's been doing a fantastic job. I remember when we first started chatting, Yes. So, Tammy, Igor, do you want to come up here too, or are you too shy? Yes! Hey! All right. So, um, it's April 25th and 26th, Austin, Texas, next year. If you have any questions, please let us know. We're here to be able to help you. Thank you so much for providing your attention, bringing all your energy to this. I mean, it's something that we're really passionate about, and I just thank you so much for coming.
All right.